Hey guys, uh, welcome back to this brand new video on my YouTube channel and in this video I am going to be scripting some of your Roblox ideas which have been submitted in my Discord server where I made an announcement yesterday. First of all, I want to thank you all again for 10,000 subscribers. It is an insane achievement for me and I am really proud of myself and all proud of you guys that you guys helped me to reach this goal. So in this video, I am not going to make a little bit of a tutorial out of it. I am actually going to make a little bit of a devlog about it. So I'm going to show you how I did it and my mechanics of it and maybe like my thoughts of it and all that stuff. At the end of this video, I have a little present and surprise for all of you guys. So make sure you watch till the end. I have chosen random suggestions or ideas from my uh, Discord server about the scripting ideas uh, for the video. And the first idea was that if you jump, every time you jump, you jump higher. So the way I did that, if I would go to server, as you can see, I made this little script. So what this does, player service, a little bit of debounce, and then let's see. So we're waiting for the player to be a character added. And then we're gonna use jump power because jump power is just a good way of using it. Then we got uh, the, we're gonna check if jump has been changed. So for example, if it's true or false, we're gonna check that if if you jump if so if you're like jumping then we're gonna initialize the debounce so that you cannot spam it so every 0.5 seconds you would get 10 jump power extra so why not let's test this out so if i would click play right now and let me just go to my character real quick uh humanoid okay as you can see jump power if i hold space okay look 60 70 80 90 100 110 120 and as you can see, I am just holding spacebar. And every time I jump, I jump way higher. Look at that. Whee! This is amazing. So thank you for your idea. And let's go to the next one. The next idea was if you say as or easy or whatever, it will change into GG. So if um, what I did was I uh, copied the chat from Roblox. And you will see this ginormous script. You can just ignore the basic of it. If I would go to like line 180. Yeah, as you can see, the um, there's a message which gets fired. We're checking if that message is the same as easy. And if that's the case, we're going to return GG. But if you say anything else, we'll just return your normal message. So, let's test this out. If I would play the game. And I would say easy. Boom, it changes into GG. Thank you for your idea, and let's go to the next one. The next idea was every time you say this game is easy, you die. What I did in the server script, I created a little chat function, so if there is a message coming through, we're checking if the message is the same as if this game is easy, and if that's the case, we'll set your health to zero, because you're going to die. So let's test this out. If we would play the game, and we would say this game is easy, enter. As you can see, we immediately die. Thank you for your idea, and let's carry on to the next one. The next idea was whenever you say I'm not scared of the dark, the whole game turns black. So what I did, I created an another message uh, for like the function, and I said uh, I'm not scared of the dark. If, if that's your message, the entire game just turns black. We'll just customize the lightning service, and I added the lightning service uh, on top. So let's test this out. So whenever I say, uh, hold on, I'm not scared of the dark, enter, as you can see, the entire game turns black. Thank you for your idea, and let's go to the next one. The next idea was, whenever you say I'm hungry, a ton of food falls from the sky. So what I did to do that, I made a model with, uh, called food, with a lot of uh, food parts on them, and in the server script, I added replicated storage as a variable, and I made a message over here. If it's the same as I'm hungry, then we're going to clone the food and put them in workspace. So, let's give it a go. We're going to play the game. And you're like, hmm, easy. <laughs> I'm kidding. You're going to be like, I'm hungry. And we're going to look up the sky. Whoa! Boom! And you get a ton of food from the sky. We got donuts, we got burgers. That basically it, but still, we got a ton of food. 
Thank you for your idea, and let's carry on to the next one. The next idea was whenever you touch grass, you die. So what I did, I made some terrain grass with a invisible hitbox part called grass. And you know, if you touch it, you're gonna die. So in the server script, what I did, I made a function. So if you touch grass, we're gonna check if you're a player. And if you are a player, we're gonna let you die. This is basically how we do it. It's very simple. So let's give it a go. So we're gonna play the game. And if we touch the grass, we should die. So let's touch the grass. And as you can see, we immediately die because we are touching grass. Thank you for your suggestion, and let's go to the next one. The next idea was whenever you say easy, you explode with a sign saying too bad. So what I did for that, in the server script, I created a new uh, message saying if you say easy, we'll create an explosion, we'll set it to a little bit of a blast radius, a lot of blast pressure, and we'll set an uh, the position of it, sorry. We're gonna set the position of it to the head of the player, uh, just so you always explode on the head, and we'll parent it into your player character, and we are going to make sure you definitely die in case you don't. We're going to enable a text GUI saying um, too bad. And then when you respawn, we're going to disable it again. So this is how I did it. A uh, little simple trick to pull off. So now let's do this again and let's type easy. Th uh, okay, I'm not loading. There we go. Easy and boom. As you can see, an explosion. Too bad. And when we respawn, everything clears away. Thank you for your idea. And let's carry on to the next one. The next idea was how to make a day and night cycle, so I made a little um, variable for that too. At the bottom over here, we got a coroutine resume and a coroutine create uh, function. Then we'll just simply make a loop and then give it a little bit of time and we'll do that every second. It's a little bit simple, uh, but you guys wanted this, so that's why I'm doing it. Lightning, as you can see, every second the time goes. As you can see, the sun moves every second. Thank you for your idea, and let's carry on to the next one. The next idea was whenever you say the game runs smoothly, um, and a, a lot of lag appears. So what I did for that, I created a lag model. I'm not going to open it because it contains 10,000 parts and my computer will crash. Anyways, what I did, I created a message and then simply cloned it to workspace. So let's try this out. I'm going to copy this message so I don't have to type it out. Let's play this. I hope my PC doesn't crash after this, because I have a feeling it will crash. Okay, and we're in the game now. So let's see. This game runs so smoothly. Enter. Oh no, I'm... Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm already lagging. <laughs> Uh-oh. I think my studio is actually crashing already. Oh! It's, re it's, it's responding. Take a look at this lag! I cannot even move. Look at my mouse. This is my actual mouse, like my computer mouse. And if I try moving around, it's not even working. As you can see, there's a... Oh, look at that. Look at how laggy this is. So as you can see, it, it does work. It, it's just pretty laggy. Yeah. So I'm going to actually wait this out and let's see what happens. Well, as you can see, the lag is coming, but it is just so laggy. My computer cannot handle it. So I'm just going to say thank you for your idea and let's carry on to the next one. So the next suggestion was whenever you die, you grow bigger. So the way I did that, I made some uh, values uh, containing player data. Because uh, when you die in Roblox, the humanoid gets reset completely, which is super annoying. So that's why we got values. And if you die, we're going to adjust those values with plus 5. And then over here, we're setting that to the value. This is basically how I do it. Basically over here, we're setting the value of the head scale and all the stuff. So if we were player game, we're going to start off really basic. As you can see. Yep, very basic. So now if we die, boom, we just died. And if we respawn, we're going to be a lot bigger. And boom, as you can see, we got a lot bigger. So if we reset again, we're going to be even more bigger. It, maybe you don't notice. As you can see, we're even more bigger now. Look at that. So thank you for your suggestion. And let's go to the final one. Before we go to the final one, I want to say that this is a little present, which is going to be, drum roll please, a free model of everything I scripted in this video in the description. So if you want all of this, uh, go to the description, get the free model, and enjoy it. Thank you for 10,000 subscribers. The final one for this video is something I made myself, and that's whenever someone says, uh, hashtag newbie 10,000 subscribers, uh, firebridge clone, and there's going to be a lot party. So basically, that's what I did for the final one. 
So let's tr uh, try that out. Sorry for my English. Hashtag newbie uh, 10k. Enter. As you can see, a lot of fireworks appear. And now let's wait for a little bit. And they should ignite pretty soon. Takes a little bit. And there we go. Look at that. This is a big party for 10,000 subscribers. I want to thank you all for this amazing milestone. Thank you for watching this video. And if I didn't do your suggestion, I'm really sorry. Maybe in a next video if I do one. And um, yeah, that's basically for this video. So if you do like this video, make sure to give it a like if you like it. If you don't like it, give it a dislike. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell. And all I can say is that my name is Doobie. And I say peace out.